Okay, this week's video is going to be a little bit long since we were traveling and now we're back and we are packing all the things that sold. So this is going to be a long one. Uh, this is one we talked about in the podcast. This is a painter's suitcase. Um, it's quite big. It's very heavy. We got it in Amsterdam. Jay found it on the street. Um, it's got a nice metal handle. Looks awesome. Um, I think I had it up for two twenty five and someone gave me an offer of one eighty so that's a great offer for something like this. We did drag it all the way home from Amsterdam. It was one of our carry on luggage pieces uh last year, and so how I'm gonna ship this is uh FedEx ground. I'm going to wrap it in a blanket and then wrap it in cardboard this big box it doesn't actually fit in this box by itself so i'm going to take this box apart and wrap it up make sure the handle is really padded with the blanket and uh i think that'll be just fine and this is actually what it looks like on the inside so there's like a compartment here um there's like a s elastic string thing there uh that can hold pallets um, and overall is just a very, very cool piece. This is a little, uh, burlap bag, um, from the 40s that held grass seed. Um, I've had this up for a while. I do believe there is a date. Tested August 1948. <laughs> so it's definitely old. No offense to those, uh, born in 1948, which my mother was. This I had up for, I think, $25, but I took an offer of 18 and it was kind of annoying because this person just wouldn't pay, wouldn't pay, and I had to open an unpaid item case against them, which is always a bummer, but uh, then they paid, so that always helps spur people into action. This is a very cool uh, vintage mailbox. It's got an awesome look. You can put the newspaper there. Um, you can lock it, and then there's a little mail slot here. It might need some paint, but it also kind of looks cool and vintage like this. It's cast aluminum. Um, I had this up for $86, which sounds crazy, but if you look for, um, you know, real vintage uh, mailboxes, um, they are priced very high. So I put this up high with make an offer, of course, and I got an offer of $75, and I sold it. So some people might just think that looks like junk, but it is a valuable thing for someone wanting a very particular look and functionality to their mailbox. This is a set of six fondue plates, um, or just cool section plates, whatever you want to use them for. Definitely awesome. I don't think they have a mark on them. There's no mark. Um, a lot of times these will say made in Japan. Um, I have another pair or another set of orange ones that do say that, but this doesn't say anything. But what a great color and what a cool look. Um, they sold for $30. This is a little uh, Weight Watchers points pedometer. Um, it's a pedometer, but it's special for Weight Watchers because it tells people their points. Um, I don't really know how that system works, but I do know that this is new in the box and that people are looking for these. So, uh, something like this, usually you're like, oh, it's just junky. How much could it be worth? Well, I put it on eBay for $25 and it sold. This is a lovely necklace uh, made of uh, different colored beads. Um, some of them, it's hard to tell on the video, but they're quite vibrant, uh, really pretty. I bought this in an estate sale of a woman who uh, bought a lot of um, Bakelite type uh, necklaces and Lucite necklaces and things like that. Uh, very chunky, uh, very cool. Uh, the thing about this necklace, though, is I tested them, the beads, and none of them were Bakelite. Um, that was really the only test I knew how to do. 
Um, so I'm not quite sure exactly what everything is made out of, but I do know that um, people look for this kind of, uh, these kind of beads and these colors and this kind of like chunky necklace look. Um, I think it's quite beautiful. Now, I had this listed for $199, $199, um, and I got an offer of $150, uh, which is kind of amazing. I was actually kind of shocked, like, wow, <laughs> that's a great offer. So this sold for $150. As you can see on this box, this is a fancy uh, strainer for making like canned foods or baby foods or sauces. Um, I do not believe it was ever used. It was in the box when we bought it at a yard sale. Um, it's pretty cool for someone who wants to do like handmade foods. I think we had this up for $60, but we took an offer of $40 uh, because it's quite large in our storage, so we were excited to sell it. I'm actually not quite sure if these are suspenders or something to go on a backpack. Um, this is Velcro. These have these hooks. Um, I put them up as suspenders because I thought that's what they were, but I'm not quite sure. Either way, they sold for $15. Okay, this is a vintage um, ID bracelet for a man, Joseph, or a woman, I guess. Um, it is 10K gold plated, um, and I know that because it says it on the back somewhere. Um, and this sold for $40. These are the four uh, Mother of Pearl shell dishes. Um, they're for holding caviar. Um, this one's quite large, actually. <laughs> Uh, but they're very thick, um, they're beautiful, they're huge, and I think we paid about $5 maybe at an estate sale, and they sold for $96. Um, they're just quite beautiful, and they're worth it. They're not just shells for crafts, they're actual dishes for caviar. So this is a vintage 70s or 80s corning glass textured cutting board. Um, the pattern is Forest Fancies. It's the mushroom one. And some people really love these. Um, they never go bad. I've seen people use these for years and years and there's not a scratch on them. Uh, which is cool, except it gets really loud when you're cutting things. That's what I found. <laughs> when the knife hits this, it's really loud. Um, but I did sell this for a very nice price of $50. These are a pair of Swedish clogs with wooden soles. Uh, Jay bought them on eBay for himself just for work shoes, but um, they were coming off his feet because they didn't have the back part. Um, I believe we bought these for $9. I forget how much shipping was, but it couldn't have been more than $20 total. And they are a Swedish brand called Troentorp. And they're great, really good quality uh, shoes that will last forever. Um, and we took an offer of $50. I believe I had $70 on these, and we took an offer of $50. So we bought them, couldn't use them, and resold them and made a profit. This is a pair of Adidas brand uh, kitten heeled wedges, which is something you don't see very often, but it said sample on them. So they did not make very many of them. I found them at a thrift store nearby uh, for $2.00. And I've had them for years. Um, they're pretty cool. Uh, they're peep toes. They're leather. They've barely been worn. Um, they're a rare find. Uh, but nobody wanted them till now. And I got an offer of $40. I think I had them up for $50 or $60. And I was happy with that. This is a new with tags Wrangler shirt. It's kind of a cool look. It's a XXL. Super cool. Um, this sold for $40. Pretty nice sale for a shirt. 
Okay, this is an official park ranger shirt. It's a short sleeve. And we've said before that these are really popular. They don't have any patches on them because you're not allowed to sell the patches. Um, but the patches were gone when we got them at the thrift store, but they're still super popular. So this shirt by itself sold for $36.99. So that's a great price for one short sleeve shirt. This is a lovely L.L. Bean cotton shirt. It's very casual, perfect for anything, for hiking, for hanging out, for working. And it sold for $20. This is a super 90s dress. Uh, you can see it's got the collar with the beads, which is amazing. It's by Rampage, which if you grew up in the 90s, you know that's a brand. Um, it's got some stains. You can see stains. Actually, this looks a lot brighter in the video than it does in person. It's a little bit faded. Someone could probably re-dye it or take the sleeves off or something cool. Uh, it's a pretty cool dress, but I've had it forever. I do not do well with dresses. Um, they take a really long time for me to sell them. I think because people really want to bargain on them. So this was 20 bucks, and it sold for 20 So, uh... That was pretty good. I'm glad that someone finally bought it. This is a super cool metal purse, which is kind of awesome. Um, perfect for the prom or a wedding. See, it says made in Hong Kong. Um, it's got velvet on the inside and it sold for $40. These are a pair of matching trivets. Um, they're tile. And they're from Colonial Williamsburg. There's a place called Chowning's Tavern. There's several restaurants on the Williamsburg uh, campus, I guess you would call it, a uh, village. And this is one of them. And these actually sold on Bonanza to someone with the last name Chowning. So that's kind of funny. Um, I got these at a thrift store. There were, I think, six of them total. And then they, they had the different taverns at Williamsburg so there were two of these two of another one and two of another one um, they were 25 cents each because they were on sale half price from 50 cents <laughs> so they were really cheap um, and I sold them for $25 each so this is $50 um, to someone on Bonanza these are two hats that sold uh, this one is like a golfers hat I believe that is a golf course at Pebble Beach this sold for $25 and then, as we mentioned the other day, these are really popular, this brand. Life is good. I see tons of people wearing this stuff. Um, and this hat, by itself, sold for $30. It's a really cute one, too. So, um, you always got to pick those up. This is a Toomey brand uh, backpack. It is called the T-Tech, because um, it's like a cool little backpack. It is not all leather. This is canvas. This is leather here. If it were all leather, I could easily have sold this for over $200, but it's not all leather. Um, I bought this on Craigslist in New York City for $30 when we were visiting. Um, it's barely been used at all. I don't even think this person used it. Um, so it was a bit of an adventure getting it. I had to go all the way uptown on the uh, subway. But uh, it was definitely worth it. So I had this up for two twenty five. I got an offer of one sixty, and we were happy to take one sixty. We paid thirty for it, so one sixty is great. These are a pair of ladies' Red Wing comfort granny shoes. Um, they sold for forty dollars. These are super popular style. I know it seems funny for either a grandma. Or a hipster. Figure that one out. These are a pair of men's vintage chukka boots or shoes. And they sold for $40. No particular brand, just a generic pair of suede shoes. 40 bucks. This is a silk tie from Express. Um, it's Italian silk. It's textured, very pretty. Um, we haven't listed ties in, oh gosh, I don't know, over a year. So um, they do not sell very fast. We have a bunch of them. We have a huge tub of unlisted ties. So we got to figure out what to do with them. But this one sold for $20. So that's a nice price for a tie. 
This is a super cool belt made in the 60s, and we know that because all the coins are dated from the late 60s. Um, they are Mexican pesos, and it's super hippie cool belt. And um, if you find these, you know, this style new, you know, made by designers, they're kind of expensive. So um, this is just some generic one that somebody made or something real funky. Um, and it sold for $40. So that's a great price. This is a Remington Clean Blade brand vintage uh, barbecue fork, carving fork. Um, it's quite nice. It's got a wooden handle. It's just a cool vintage find. It's not too big. Um, it's, a, it's a good size. So we liked it. We bought it probably for 25 cents and I sold it for 20 bucks. This is a vintage painter's case. Um, you can see on the front it says paints and brushes. There weren't any brushes, there are just paints. So we can look inside. So you can see inside there's a bunch of different kinds of paints. There's acrylic, oil, different things like that. So any kind of artist uh, that needs paints would be happy to have it. Um, it's definitely cool. The box is cool. It's going to someone in Manhattan and it sold for $80. So that's a great price. This is a set of seven uh, whiskey glass tumblers and they are kind of amazing. So they have these like images of houses and carpenter stuff. You can see there's like house outlines. <laughs> um, these are very mid-century. We've had these forever. Years we've had these. They're so cool though. I love them. They sold to someone in Studio City, California, so I don't know if they're a prop um, or just someone who's got a cool mid-century home bar or something like that. Um, these sold for $60. They should have sold for more, but I've had them for so long, I'm glad that someone paid for them. So It's not going to be fun to pack, but I'll do it and I'll ship them, and I'm happy they sold. This is a cool 100% uh, wool vintage tie. Um, it's got a little duck on it. And it actually sold on Bonanza for $20. This is a vintage Brock's Burgundy candy dish. You can see it still has the labels. Um, depending on what the candy is and the state of the label, these can go for a good amount of money. Um, this one, not so much. Although I did sell it for $25, so that's kind of cool. It's a cute jar for candy or cookies or something like that. Um, and I probably only bought it for like a dollar or two, maybe. So, I'm glad it sold. This is a lovely Farberware stainless and aluminum clad, which is my favorite kind of pan because the aluminum is very thick on the bottom and it stays very flat over the years and can be used on an electric stove, which we have. So this is a nice pot and it came with a top. I have a bunch of these for my own house. I love them. They last literally generations. They last forever. Um, and this sold for 30 bucks. This is a remnant of fabric um, from the Pendleton uh, factory when we visited Oregon last year. Uh, two feet wide by about three feet long, a little under three feet, and it sold for $50. So that's a nice price for a fabric remnant. This is a vintage military, um, I do believe it's Marines, uh, insignia rank pin that we just found. I'm not sure where we found this. I'm sure Jay remembers. I think it might have been in a box lot at an auction, so we just kind of got it by accident. But it did sell for $40, so that is a great price for something so little. This is a set of new, never used uh, vintage pencils from Holland. We bought them in Amsterdam at a little sale 
and um, I think we paid a euro for them. But the weird thing is there are people who collect pencils. So that's a thing. I put these up for $36.99 and they sold to someone in Germany through the Global Shipping Program. And I checked to see how much they paid for shipping. They paid $40 for shipping. So <laughs> they paid almost, almost $80 for these total. Don't know why, but they really wanted them. So these are pretty neat and, uh, you know, there are people who collect pencils. So just keep an eye out for funky cool pencils that are vintage. This is a fiberglass military helmet. Um, we actually bought this in Amsterdam. Um, it's very cool. It's got a leather inside. Um, I believe it's a military helmet. There's no markings, uh, but it's quite nice. Um, I think we had it up for 80 and we took an offer of 50 I think we paid a dollar for it, or one euro. This is an antique wooden and metal plane for planing wood. Um, this is quite a gorgeous one. Um, it has a marking here that says Mitchell and Sheffield. Um, so it's made out of maple. It's a gorgeous piece, but we've had it for a very long time. Um, I think we had it up for $90 and we took an offer of 67. So I am thrilled with getting $67 um, and getting it out of my storage. This is a Zildjian crash symbol. Um, I think I showed before that I sold uh, two hi-hats, a set of hi-hats um, for $150. Uh, the crash symbol by itself is not worth that much and this one's got a little bit of wear it's not super shiny I mean it is shiny but it's got some tarnish and it actually has a dent here um, which isn't a big deal it still sounds great and it sold for 50 bucks these are a pair of fake old signs for um, DMC uh, thread which is used for embroidery as you can see, embroidery, crochet, and knitting. Um, it's still a brand, I believe, um, but these are like fake old. Uh, I thought they were cute, though. And um, I think we only got them oh, cheap, a dollar, maybe. And I had them up, I think, for $29 each. But I took an offer of 20 each, so it was 40 total to the same lady. So I thought they were cute. And 40 bucks is a great price. This is a vintage style trucker hat, Rolling Stones. Um, I looked up a similar one and they said it was from 2004. Um, so it's about 10 years old, 11 years old. Uh, it's still a cool style. Um, and it actually sold for $45. So that's a great, great sale. It's a nice look too. This is a vintage Wrangler denim jacket. Awesome jacket faux shearling lined with a corduroy collar definitely vintage and I think we had this up for over 50 um, but we took an offer of 35 because we've had it for a really long time which is funny because some of these sell right away for high prices and some of them don't so I'm happy to sell this for 35 bucks to someone in the global shipping program in the UK these are five reproduction prints of the famous artist. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. His first name is Henry. Um, he did, you know, the art in the late 1800s for Moulin Rouge um, in France. So these are reproductions, clearly. But the cool thing about these is they are mid-century reproductions. So I believe they are prints from the 50s. Um, that's what they look like to me. Um, they're quite cool. I actually have six of them, but this guy bought five for $50 each. So, oh my God, let's add that up. So that's $100, $100, uh, 50. So $250, whoa, worth of prints. And I have one more left. I don't know why he didn't buy that one. I'll probably email him and say, I have one more left. 
But uh, $250, I think we bought these for like $2 each, maybe? $2 to $5 each, something like that. So that is a great profit. This is a sterling silver ring. It's got dragonflies and a mother of pearl shell here. Um, it is marked 925 on the inside. It's really, really small, but it's there. Um, I got this at an estate sale for $15 uh, because I could see that it said 925. Um, and the mother of pearl, I've seen other rings like this. I looked it up, uh, sell for a lot of money. So I paid 15 and I sold it for 105 So that is a nice sale. Um, for a little ring. I took a chance by paying 15 but the chance paid off. These are a pair of ceiling flush mount lights. Uh, you can see they have beveled glass here and kind of a antique copper look. Uh, the video doesn't show the color very well but it's kind of a brown uh, coppery look. And these were actually on the porch outside on the farmhouse that we own, the rental house that we have. So we wanted to add more lights and give it more of a vintage look. These to me are a little bit contemporary. They're kind of vintage looking, but I wanted actual vintage lights. So I replaced them. I pulled these down, cleaned them up real good. And um, I put $50 each on them. It was uh, $50 quantity two. And someone bought both of them. So it was $100 for these um, lights, which is pretty good for real glass and metal. Um, they're definitely made in China, so um, they're, they are contemporary. But for 100 bucks, I got them pretty much for free, so... That helped pay for the extra lights that I bought. This is a linoleum woodcut. You guys saw that we sold some before. Um, this is part of the same uh, lot that we bought. We bought a big box for $10. And this one actually is a linoleum tile that's been cut down, but it is a piece of wood. But the printing part is linoleum. Um, and this sold for $25, uh, global shipping program. So our first lot of nail polish sold. You guys have heard on the podcast that we bought 800 bottles of nail polish, designer nail polish. Um, so someone bought two lots of 10. And actually right now our store is on sale, 15% on the whole store. Just because we thought we'd try it. I'm sure we'll talk about it in the podcast. Um, so these were a lot of 10 for $85. So that's $8.50 each bottle. So two lots is basically $170. And we paid for 800 bottles, we paid $300. So to sell, if we sell another couple of lots of these, we will make back our money and then just be making profit. But this is the first set that we've sold. We sold two sets already, best offer to people, and they canceled for some reason. Um, so this is the first one where someone bought them outright. But as you can see, the place we bought it from labeled each one of these. Uh, they were actually selling them for 50 cents each, but we got them for 30 cents each. Uh, I believe that's true if I did the math right. Uh, so I have to go in and take all the labels off. <laughs> so that's going to be a little crazy, but I'm willing to do it. This is a super cool embroidered NASA hat. So awesome for any nerds. And um, it sold for $34. This is a beautiful vintage Wedgwood brooch. Uh, framed in sterling silver. On the back you can see the signature. Oh, maybe you can't. It says Wedgwood made in England. There's no date. On some of these brooches there is a date, um, but this one there's no date, which I think indicates that 
it's before the 1950s because in the 50s they started dating these brooches um, from the research that I found. Uh, I got this in an estate sale for $15. Um, as you guys know, I've been um, buying jewelry at higher prices thinking I can flip them for a lot more. This sold for $106, so I guess I was right. I have several more of these pieces that I have up high, um, so I'm hoping to be able to sell them as well. Uh, this was my first Wedgwood piece of jewelry that I sold, so I'm very happy. Um, $106. This is, I think, a vintage bottle of Nina Ricci perfume. It actually sold on Bonanza for $60. There's a bit of a story behind this backpack. Um, this is a nice low alpine uh, hiking backpack. Uh, it's got this like mesh on the back where it keeps you aerated when you hike. Um, we bought this for five euros in Amsterdam and we thought it was a cool bag and we wanted to use it just to carry stuff around in while we were there and then sell it. So um, we took an offer of $50 on it, which I think is a really good price. I think we had it up for 80 but our store was on sale and we wanted to make sales and all that stuff. So 50 bucks, we were like, great, no problem. And then we could not find it anywhere, which is very strange because all our bags are in one storage shed, very clearly labeled. So we thought we must have misplaced this. So I looked in the folder of listed stuff, of stuff that was listed around the same time as this, uh, the same set of bags, and we couldn't find any of them. And we were just like, where are these bags? So for about three days, it was the weekend, it was actually a long holiday weekend, so it didn't matter that it didn't get shipped yet. We were just freaking out a little bit. Like, where, well, I was not I was freaked out and Jay wasn't, of course. But um, finally today, we looked and we had made a new bin of bags and we hadn't labeled it very big. And we had put it on the other side of the storage shed. <laughs> and finally, Jay looked at this and he's like, that bin says it has bags in it and he opens it up and there are all the bags so just remember when you're reorganizing storage to make it make sense because we put it in a weird place and it was really hard to find but finally we found it thank goodness as you see we've been selling lots of bags um, this is another bag it's a canvas tote super cute it's definitely got some marks on it um, but it's very practical, like beach bag, 25 bucks. This is a really nice, uh, it looks brand new, duffel bag. There isn't a brand, but you can see that it says Cordura Plus, Cordura Plus, which is a kind of really heavy duty nylon. Actually, uh, the military uses it in a lot of their bags too, I've noticed. So this sold for $43. Um, it's probably worth more than that, but there's no brand, um, but it's a really good bag. Another bag sold. Uh, this is a vintage Jansport, um, and you know it's vintage because it says made in the USA. Um, these are great bags. This is not the leather bottom ones. The ones that are have the leather bottom go for a lot of money sometimes, um, so I've been trying to collect those. But this one sold for $35. So that's still a great price. Um, we personally like to use these when we travel because there's just one big pocket and then a little pocket. There's no like million pockets for stuff to get lost in. It's just whatever you want to put in here and whatever you want to put in here and that's it. And I think people really love that classic style. So keep an eye out for the ones with the leather. But these still sell great. 35 bucks, that's a great price. Today is Memorial Day, and I got an email, it was from eBay, saying that we had this featured on the front page of eBay, um, which is really funny because it had sold about an hour before, and the email was obviously late, <laughs> uh, telling me I was on the front page, because I was like, that's a random thing to sell. Um, so that was kind of cool. It was... Uh, Featured in a collection of uh, World War II stuff from the Red Cross. Um, so this was in the collection. And it sold. 
So I really wish that eBay would uh, put something on the front page that costs a lot of money. Because <laughs> this was only $16. And the cool thing is I've had it for a couple of years, so I'm glad it sold. But, eh, $16. How about some mid-century lamps? I would love it if those were featured. Okay, we bought this lamp originally for the farmhouse. Uh, but it did not look good in the room that we wanted it in, so we decided to sell it. Um, I think I had it up for $1.99. Um, I have this tilted in because I have to pack it and ship it, but these move. Um, they're like eyeball lights. Totally retro. Um, and I took an offer this morning of $100, uh, just because I wanted to sell it taking up a lot of room and storage so a hundred bucks and yes I do have to pack it um, it shouldn't be too bad to pack it is you know something that's breakable but it's not impossible so yeah a hundred bucks it's going to California <laughs> so it's going across the country as well but gotta do it and the last item this week is a beautiful pair of Vintage L.L. Bean cowboy work boots. I think I originally had these up for like $1.99 best offer. Uh, but again, our store's on sale. Um, so I got an offer of 100 And I was like, yes, I'm just going to take it. Uh, these had sold once before, I think for $130. But someone returned them because they didn't fit. Which is sad. But... I knew they'd sell again, so a hundred bucks, I'm happy. And you can see the vintage label, L.L. Bean. Um, and the bottoms also have this awesome, it says neoprene, cork grip. So that's a tip off that it's vintage. Okay, see you next week. Bye.